Hi, first grade. Today you are going to be creating your own graph again, but this time I did not even give you the tallies. So first you need to always think about what is it that you want to be graphing information about. So I today think I'm going to start off with my title and I want to collect data about what is your favorite quarantine activity to do? Okay, and again, you can write this or type it. It is up to you. So I'm gonna put my title down here above my graph. There we go. So quarantine activities is my topic today. And then activities. So I'm gonna first start off with my tally area. So I'm gonna think of three activities to do during quarantine. So crafts, arts and crafts. Um, actually, I'm gonna do art and make that a little bit smaller, actually bigger. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate that. Okay, my next activity that I like to do during quarantine that I'll ask about is taking a walk outside. And then finally, I'm going to ask TV, TV time. Okay, so those are my three things that I will ask people about. What is their favorite quarantine activity to do? Is it art, walking, or watching TV? Okay, so we're going to pretend like I asked the Wolford teachers. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, I think I'm gonna make the background here. Oops, I lost it. So what I'm going to do is make a title for my data numbers down here. And I'm going to say Wolford teachers. And I'm just making it up so it doesn't, because we're just practicing how we would collect data. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to change that title there to purple. So I asked Wolford teachers and I'm going to duplicate these titles and bring them down here for my graph because we need to have titles for our graph. And I did already give you the numbers for the data here. I already organized that for you. Now something you'll notice that's different from our other graph we did yesterday is that this graph is going horizontally. The other graph was going vertically. So this time our numbers are down here and it's representing how many people we are asking. Yesterday, our numbers were going up and down like this. So just notice that, that graphs can go horizontally and graphs can go vertically and they'll still show the same information. They just look a little different on how they're organized. Okay, so now I'm going to pretend like I asked teachers and I'm just going to do some different tallies here. And I think I'm going to say that cross it for five. Five people liked art. I'm gonna put the total here. And then I'm going to say that four, five, six, seven people liked walking. And let's say three, only three people like TV. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my data. So art was five, so looking at five, I'm gonna start at the five box and go all the way down. Do, 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 kind of fill it in just a little bit. And then walking was seven, so that took up my entire graph all the way at the top. And there we go. And then TV was only three. Okay, now I have filled in my graph. It's time to come up with some questions to ask. 
So I think one question I'm going to ask today, I'm going to think of different questions I didn't ask yesterday, is what, let's see here, what activity was the least, least means the smallest amount, and I'm just going to stick with that theme I think today, whoops, I don't want bright yellow. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate this and I'm just going to stick with this instead of what activity was the least. Can you guess what would be the opposite? What activity was the most? Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and answer it. I think I'll use my drawing tool for this one. So the least was TV. And the most was walking. Okay, so today you will be completely creating the graph on your own, collecting your own data. You're going to think about what the topic is that you're trying to collect data on, who you're going to pretend like you're collecting data from, and go ahead and write in the data information. Think of your own two questions and go ahead and answer them too also. Okay, so um, good luck and have fun.